Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is actually just a extension of the last video that I did. So uh, my name is Devin Adams. The last video we did a demo of making a device level change and I, I realized after the fact that there was just a couple of other things I should have mentioned. So this is kind of like a 6.1 video. You'll see me do that in my playlist. That's pretty much the stuff I forgot to add. So anyways, uh, for starters, let's go to device manager. In the last video, we made a device level change on the remote FortiGate, and then we pushed it down. I just wanted to show you guys the benefit of that metadata. So I did do an example of uh, putting in a comment before I pushed down the change. And the, the benefit is when you go to your revision history, okay, you see it there in the comment field. And what's nice is that you don't have to go digging to see what was done there. So not only will you have like the administrator side of things, okay, and I'll, I'll actually show that in a video eventually someday. Uh, I don't know how far deep I'm gonna go into these videos. I'm just kinda, kinda rolling with it. But not only do you get like an accountability on that sense, if you make a comment of what you are doing, you see the benefit of that, guys? I mean, you don't have to go, you know, differentiating files and what have you. So um, that is where the metadata shows up when you put a comment in. The second thing I, I forgot to mention was outside of this management pane here, but in the device settings itself. So let's go over to system settings. All right. And we had a task monitor. Now this task monitor will show you, okay, what the Fortin Manager has been doing. All right, so uh, for example here, we did the two install previews, then we actually installed it down to the device itself. All right, now if, uh, if you have a device that's stuck, I, I thought there might have been a right click here. The status is completed, so it's, it's not like, you know, I have anything that's been stuck, but there should be an option either to delete it, all right, or an option to cancel it if it does get stuck for some whatever re reason, because you'll see sometimes there are things that will start piling up and waiting for one process to finish, all right? So I was trying to, to catch that earlier and I forgot about it. But I also wanted to show you, when you come here, all right, you can see it was successful, but you can also click here to look at the revision history. So in other words, you can actually see what it was doing there and where it might have aired out if you didn't catch it in time all right so i just wanted to let you guys know that there is a an option to to see that there all right so um anyways so that's the task monitor view all right and that will show you what the ford manager has been doing and then i also wanted to just show you guys you can go to device manager you can double click a device, you can go to your revision database down here and see where that metadata really complements managing the Florida manager. So, all right, that was a short one. Sorry I didn't add that before. It was an afterthought. And I will see you guys when we start messing with the policy and objects database. So.